All right, so today, you see these mushroom spores? Now, a lot of the enclosures, when they have the mushroom spores, oftentimes I'll just use my chopstick to stir it up, but not this one. This one just seems to, just never goes away. When I stir it up, the next day it comes again. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna change this part of the substrate, right? And also, for some reason, it's always only here. Wait, let me put you guys here for a minute while I take the enclosure. But the thing is, ugh. okay, so I've got the uh, substrate over here, right? Now, for some reason, like I said, it's always only collecting over here. At the back, there's no mushroom spores. For some odd reason. So, yeah. This is my Citharognetus dominensis. She is like way down there. Okay. Zina, go away. Go. Okay. So, I'm gonna take these leaves because I'm going to be reusing them. The leaves can be reused, so I'll put them at the corner over there. Okay, actually I can put them on here actually, yeah. Why would I put them at the back, right? I can reuse them, so. Put them at the front, like so. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna be getting the front substrate. I have no idea why, it's just the front that always have, you see? The spores. Yeah, for some odd, odd reason, the front. So I've already made a mix of substrate, which I'm going to use to replace <sighs> this is the only enclosure that happens like this maybe because it's a little bit too damp maybe possibly but then again other enclosures, a lot of them are the same, same dampness. Maybe it's just this particular soil. But then again, <laughs> it's the same soil that I use. So I don't even know, man. I don't even know, but it's okay. It's okay. This soil, we can use it for the plants. Yeah. That soil color is a little bit different because I think I put a little bit too much cocoa fiber, but it's fine, that's fine. Just the front and we are good. Yep, looking good. I just made like a like a drain. Look at that. It's like a drain. Okay, last scoop. All right, so now I'll put this substrate in. Hopefully this one doesn't start to mold. It'll be so not nice. Well, not exactly mold, but you know, mushrooms. Okay. Like I said, a lot of the enclosures, I don't even need to change the substrate. 
all I do is stir it up, the mushroom spores, and for some reason, they don't come back. This one, this particular enclosure, for some odd, odd reason, they seem to just come back every day. It's like they grow super quickly. So yeah. All right, that looks to be good. Now, just put the leaves back. like that okay so fingers crossed this thing <laughs> doesn't start molding again mushroom sporing yeah there we go beautiful fingers crossed